Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Annette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with Power Book 2 because y'all asked and we're going to deliver. But this season, we're going to do things a little differently. We're going to do what we call 10 minutes or less recaps yeah. on Power Book. So Power Book 2, The Stranger. Let's go ahead and put the clock on the screen and uh, 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 uh. Get Ooh, all right, so this pretty much episode, as y'all saw, was all about freaking Tasha and Tariq. Mm -hmm. So Tariq at this college called Stansfield that we know from last uh, season that the deal was that Simon would get truth and exchange that he would get to go to this college. But they threw a curveball on him when he was talking to the dean that he now has to tutor this dude named Zeke that's on the <laughs> basketball team. Of course, you know, because, yeah, the stereotypical that you can play basketball, but you academically not smart enough to pass your classes. Yeah. You know, the stereotypical thing. So they told Tariq, if he gets to, if you get to stay because he plays, that's yeah. the deal. He yeah. plays, you can stay. Right. So Tariq decided, hey, I need to get this guy doing uh, inheritance money. So I need to move through. I ain't got four freaking years because I got to take care of my grandma and my mama because I got to get my mama out of jail and I got to make sure my grandma don't got some goddamn funds and my goddamn sister, Yaz. <laughs> it was good to see Yaz all <laughs> growing up. Though. up. <laughs> she ain't CPS anymore. So he talking to this counselor about, hey, I want to do chronicle study. She was like, this is hard, but I don't know if we can pull some screens to get you in. So he did end up getting in. And uh, barely by the skin of his teeth because he didn't finish the whole book that y'all saw. On the first try. On the first try, but the second try. He, he had it. Yeah, he knocked it. The he, ghost in him kicked in. He knocked out a part. But, of course, Tariq, you know, he always get too involved. So, he ended up going to Zeke's uh, congratulations party for getting into Stansfield University. Which, I don't understand how... <laughs> He even got it in the first place if he can't do his own freaking work. But I guess He's an athlete. a bunch of athlete, you know, you kind of get a pass on things. But at the party, of course, Tariq style, he meets this pretty girl. She's real pretty. She had pretty eyes and everything. Yeah. Wasn't it Zeke's cousin? Was it a cousin? A cousin is like a sister. Yeah, something like that. She's just in the freaky family. But come to find out that her daddy in prison too. <laughs> so they kicked it off talking about Tasha in prison. His um, her freaking dad is in prison, but her mama is AKA or aunt, whatever, is AKA freaking Mary J. Blige, which I think her name is what Monet. I think Monet, Monique. I I don't know. We'll Mary. find. Yeah. Mary. So we'll find out as it continues. But of course, the typical black party cannot go off without some skit jumping off over a girl, because you remember. Oh, you got something to say? Mm -mm. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, so you remember when Tariq got to the party, he went to the bathroom and rolled up on him getting his got on dangling stuff. Yeah, and I think it was the son of Mary J. Blige, Yeah, right? I think so. Yeah, but in my book, the son is freaking Bobby Brown because that's the dude that played Bobby Brown on the Bobby Brown story. So, in my, so we'll find out what his name is as we continue to go, yeah. too. But that altercation escalated where it turned into a fight, so he ended up killing the dude uh, boyfriend. I guess it was a boyfriend or somebody she was Pretty messing around with. But this girl was messing around with two dudes and the dude that had to wait behind <laughs> him won. Yeah. So that was Zeke's either brother or cousin. We'll figure it out as time goes on. But he ended up shooting him with a double barrel shotgun later on in that episode. Yeah. Bow. Okay, let's talk about Tasha, y'all. Y'all see that Tasha is still locked up. She got her fresh set it off braids on. Yeah. It's only been seven days, y'all. Like, literally it hasn't been a good seven days. So they ain't got raggedy yet. But what we see is Tasha has Tamika as her attorney, right? And I'm like, how the heck did that happen? Yeah. So yeah. come to find out, because Sax, Mock, and Tasha, they all got this kerfuffle going on, right? Yeah. So we saw that Mock actually got Sax his job that he has now. So as a favor to Tamika and all, all of them are working together to pretty much say, listen, we need um, Ghost's character to die with the same mm that we remembered him in. Yeah. And that is everything that we tried to pin on him did not succeed. Right. Like literally everything that we tried to get him on, we need all of that to go down in the grave with him. Right. But because it's going to resurface with Tasha being back in prison right now, we need a fall guy. So they told Sax, listen, <laughs> if y'all can if you can figure out a way to put Kingpin status 
on Tasha so that she could take the rap and so that because Ghost was in this whole political thing, everything could still be squeaky clean, even yep. in his death. <laughs> Then that's the favor you owe me for you for me helping getting you this job back. Cause y'all know that Sax was done. Yeah, he was. Tamika was done. Yep. So all of this is a favor to each other. This yep. this big kerfuffle. So ended up So they back at square one. Yeah. So yep. Tamika ended up getting Tasha a really, really, really good deal. Like Tamika's trying to do it right but wrong at the same time. Mm -hmm. So she ended up saying, you know what? If you confess and you let me know everything. I can get you four years probation, no jail time. Soon as we get to the courthouse tomorrow, if you do this, you can walk. But you have to tell me the truth. Of course, she's not going to do that. Because no, the truth no. is what? Tariq. All right. So later on in the episode, we found out that they were like, you know what? Um, You definitely were not the shooter. The shooter was at least 5'11". You're a little short to do one yeah. with you. <laughs> yeah. Tasha, mm, she still ain't going to do it. Before that happened, she ended up going ahead and firing Tamika because she knew that at some point she was going to have to tell Tamika the truth. And although Tamika was like, you know, we have this confidentiality thing. I can't turn on you if I wanted to, but I need to tell you. I need to know the truth so I can represent right. you correctly. She didn't do that. She ended up with this public defender that didn't know her hair from a hole uh, in a wall. Papers all flying everywhere. I'd be like... Yeah, and I was like, uh, you about to, you about to do you some about, serious time. Yeah, so you fitting to go to jail for sure. So then she her. threw out that, that Dre did it. They had already did ballistics and everything on Dre's clothing, yeah. all that. It, no. No. Didn't check out. It did check out. So she knew that da 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 da. Okay. So there was a conversation with Tariq when she called um she called the mama and she, you know the whole thing with Tariq. Yeah. I got you, mom. Don't even worry about it, blah blah blah. So yes, so me. so Tariq's genius plan to have uh Mr. Davis, what's his name? McLean. David McLean. Represent was kind of genius and it came in right on time. Because once McLean came in, he was like, you know what? I can get you the same deal that Tamika got you. It's all going to work out. It's all going to pan out. Yeah. But it would have like a few days ago. Right. Before this speak or this talk of we need to put the kingpin charges on her. So we get to the courthouse. The plan was we're going to name the person that I am covering for. And I said, oh, so she's really going to name Tariq. Or at best. She was going to put it on sax. Yeah, that's and why I thought, was I thought she was going to put it on sax. Yeah. So she ended up naming Tommy. I said, so you about to die for real. Like, yeah. really, like, you just going to put Tommy's name out there. Right. And even everybody in the court was like, so you mean to tell me St. Patrick's best friend? Yeah. Bull skit. That, that, that's not even <laughs> how he rolls. Yeah. So next thing we know, sax gets present, um, goes up there and approaches, not the bench, but he approaches um, the other attorney. And she was like, you sure you want to do this? Well, come to find out, they presented a paper that all the charges that were on the table right now yeah. could be dropped immediately. Tasha was like, Ooh, Ooh. hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Huh. But come to find out, they immediately took her into federal custody because now they have put her up on federal kingpin charges That's right. for the organization that Ghost was doing. But I said, what? Well, I don't think it's going to stick, though. I don't think it's going to stick. Because there's always a ram in the bush. Yeah. Because we didn't understand why Zeke had took Tariq over there to the house to the party. Because, I mean, he natural. I mean, he didn't really need to be there. Yeah. But he needed to be there. Because yeah. now he sees how a real kingpin, kingpin organization is run. Exactly. And now he can get some counsel from old Mary J. Blige's um, character right. on how to save his mama. Exactly. So that that's where we are now, and Tasha's still in the jail where she's in federal, federal, federal. Mm, yep. And boom. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see where this powers go. I I I I say it was a pretty good episode. I, it was cool. Yeah, so it, it's still to me the typical power. Uh this didn't have a whole lot of killing this time. I thought we were gonna get through one episode without somebody being shot and dead. Nah, I knew but that wasn't gonna happen. Of course, you know. Yeah, so we'll um we'll see stick around to see what this season has to bring. But um y'all let us know what y'all thought about the episode in the comments. Did you like the episode, or do you think it's the same old power? We're gonna and, stick and, and let me plug this. Y'all know it takes black people seven days to bury somebody, right? We yeah. haven't buried ghosts yet. So all of this has happened in yeah. seven days within a week. Yeah. How many how many times has she's appeared in court in seven days? Yeah. That's not normal. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, really? Like, Tariq literally went from 
the the lawyer's office where they got their reading for the will and went to school. Yep, right like that. Boom. It's a lot going on, y'all. Right. But we'll see y'all next week. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Holla.